make correct statements by filling in the symbols subset or not a subset in the blank spaces well before jumping straight to the solution let us try to recall the definition of a subset we know that if a and b are two sets such that such that every member every member of set a is a member of set b is a member of set b then a is called set a is called subset of b symbolically we can say that a is a subset of b keeping this definition in mind let us try to solve each section one by one in the first section the first set contains element 2 3 and 4 whereas the second set contains element 1 2 3 4 and 5 here we can see that every element of first set is there in second set therefore we'll say that this is subset of second set in the second section first set contains the element a b and c and second set consists of b c and d here we can see that element a is present in first set whereas it is not there in second set therefore we'll say that first set is not a subset of second set well moving ahead to third section first set is x is such that x is a student of class 11 of your school and the second set says x is such that x is a student of your school well you know that every student of class 11th also belongs to the school therefore we'll say that first set is a subset of second set in the fourth section the first set says x is such that x is a circle in the plane whereas the second set says x is a circle in the same plane with radius one unit well the first set contains all the circles in a particular plane with different radii and the second set contains circles in that particular plane with radius one unit that is all the elements of first set are not present in the second set hence we'll say that first set is not a subset of second set in the fifth section first set says x is a triangle in a plane and second set says x is a rectangle in a plane well from the definition of triangle and rectangle it is clear that none of the member of first set is also a member of second set so we can say that first set is not a subset of second set now let us see the sixth section first set says x is such that x is an equilateral triangle in a plane and the second set says x is such that x is a triangle in the same plane we know that all the equilateral triangle in a particular plane are also the members of the set of triangles in the same plane hence we can say that this set is a subset of second set and finally in the last section first set says x is such that x is an even natural number and the second set says x is such that x is an integer we know that every even natural number is also an integer that is every member of first set is also a member of second set hence first set is a subset of second set so this completes our solution let us see the next question